What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. Today, we're going to be hopping back into the Theme Chronicle event, and I'm going to be using Monarchs. Of course, you guys may know Monarchs shut down your opponent's ability to use any cards in the extra deck, and basically, your tributed monsters are very much protected. So this is very strong, especially in this event. Of course, you also may know Monarchs are relatively bricky. You can build a brick house with them. But at times when they work, they work very well in shutting down your opponents. So we're going to hop into some games and show them off. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it for some more awesome gameplay and help me reach my 2023 goal of 10,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe and slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this event so far. I've been loving it when I'm using decks that are very fun and i could actually use them competitively quote unquote because my opponents aren't using sweat fest decks so nonetheless let's hop right into it so for our first match we luckily go first and in this event a lot of people are opting to go second because they're using crusadias or other decks that have a better time going second so it is what it is okay we get our Erebus the underworld monarch right away now we're gonna use return of the monarchs okay we get majesty's fiend and pitch that okay return one to the hand use a uh, phantasm of the monarch and we're gonna get three domain of the monarch <laughs> he surrenders <laughs> I don't even get to use my Monarchs. Most of the time, when they see the Monarchs, they just surrender because they know they can't do anything. So, let's hop right in to the next match. And for our second match, we're going to be going first yet again. And we don't have the best of hands here. So, we're going to try to work with what we have. We have Return of the Monarchs. We have Tenacity of the Monarchs. We're going to show Majesty's Fiend. And they're going to Ash me. Of course, the freaking Ash comes for revenge. Okay, cool. So, we're going to use the Mithra. Special Summon 1 on their field. Summon the Majesty's Fiend. Okay, return the Monarchs. Get a Kuraz into the hand. And we're just going to pass turn here because we don't really have much else. It'd be nice to have the field spell. What? No way. They break too. Alright, cool. We're going to go ahead. Activate Rhoda right here. We're going to get the Ida. We're going to use Tenacity of the Monarchs yet again. There we go. Domain of the two monarchs. That is what we wanted right off the bat. We're going to enter battle. Hit them with that 800. Okay, so now they're locked out of their extra deck. And monsters cannot use their effects because of Majesty's Fiend. So we're chilling. Lightning Storm. Okay. Well, half of that is true. Oh, look. We're going up against Crusadius. But they can't activate the effects. So we're chilling right now. We are chilling. Okay, we got March of the Monarchs, so now my Trivity Monsters can't be destroyed by card effects. So, we're just going to attack them. Pass turn. Not the best field that we want, but it is what it is. They surrender. See, they can't do anything. It shuts them down pretty hard, honestly. So, let's hop right in to the next match. And for our third match, let's get it. Going first yet again. And we have a pretty strong hand here, to be honest. As soon as we have Domain, we're chilling. Activate Domain for the Erebus. Activate Phantasm. Send the Prime. Ah, oh, the freaking Ash. That Ash, Ash plagues me everywhere I go. It says no, no. All right, we still get the Mithra out. Get Phantasm in the graveyard. We're gonna banish it to get ourselves the March of the Monarchs. Activate March of the Monarchs. And get the Erebus. Use Erebus' effect. And the Mithra's effect. So we're going to go ahead and send two to the graveyard. Shuffle one back in hand. Now they only have three cards in their hand. Which leaves them at a huge disadvantage. They can use the extra deck. And tribute to monsters are chilling. Okay. Gunkin Suship. They surrender. They can't do anything. They try to summon and then use their extra deck. They cannot. It shuts them down. It's crazy. So let's hop right in to the next match. Alrighty. For our 
fourth match, we're actually going to be going second, which is not the strongest for Monarchs. But when the, your opponent has a field like this, we get to do some stuff. All right, we get to do some stuff. We're going to reinforce the army here. Get another Eda. Get Phantasm of the Monarchs. Pitch that. Domain of the Monarchs. Okay, the true Monarchs. Use Prime. Two, put that on the field. Summon the Ida. And basically, we were baiting here. Because there was nothing I actually could do. I didn't have any of my Monarchs to do anything. But they figured that they were screwed anyway, so they just surrendered. Honestly, that was like the biggest debate ever, because I had nothing. I literally was just playing Monarch cards, like, okay, yeah, hopefully they see that they can't do anything. And they actually fell for it, and they surrendered. <laughs> so let's hop right into the next one. And for our fifth match, we are going to be going first. All right. We don't have the best hand. That's, I'm not going to lie. We're going to Phantasm here. Draw two. Okay. He's Return of the True Monarchs. Okay, let's get the domain, activate domain, we're going to use that on one of the Erebus, alright, activate Myth Mithra, special summon it, tribute summon it for the Erebus, and now we can use Erebus' effect to shuffle one of their cards back into their hand. We're also going to activate Return of the True Monarchs here, okay, get Majesty's Fiend, Shuffle one. Now you have a sh only four hands, four cards in hand, so it's perfect. We're gonna get a Majesty's Fiend on the board as well, so we're chilling right here. We're chilling. No effects. No extra deck. What can the opponent do? Oh, they got Harpy's Feather Dust on me. That's what they can do. For sure, that one hurts. That one hurts. Black Wings. Okay, they special summon. Okay. Okay, Geonator, and that is all? No, that's not all. I guess we're trying to use effects, but guess what? No effects, my dude. And you too, no effects, my guy. It's crazy. All right, let's draw. Okay, Tenacity. We're gonna activate the Tenacity. Get ourselves the Monarch Stormfront. Oh, okay. We're gonna use Phantasm in the Graveyard. Try to get the Domain again. Oh, and he gives it to us. All right, sick. Activate domain right here. Good to use it on the Airbus, and then we're gonna use Stormfront so we could use our opponents to tribute summon. All right, now we're just gonna enter battle. All right, let's smack him, smack him again, and smack him for game exactly. Holy moly, that played out so well. When you shut down your opponent's effects, and then especially if the domain is out, they can't use anything from the extra deck. It's so insane. So let's hop right in to the last match. And for our last match, it another match going second, which is again, not the best for Monarchs, but we do our best here. Upstart Goblin, okay. See, when you have a field like this, this is fine. This will never happen in ranked. And even in some casual matches, this cannot happen. Like people are sweating harder than they go to the gym, man. Like, come on dudes, chilling. All right, Stormfront. We're going to get ourselves the ether. Use the effect of the ether to get the Erebus. Push some of that. We're going to get Return of the Monarchs here. And get Phantasm. We're going to save it for the Monarchs Erupt or the March. Okay. We took Monarchs Erupt because it didn't seem to be working too good. The uh, Majesty's Fiend works a little better for me. But we get the March. And then we're going to attack him to the face. All right. Now returns to the hand. And now we pass turn. Okay, so they shut out of their extra deck. Can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So nothing. They just have to pass turn. GG's, my dude. GG's. All right, we're going to use Domain on the Erebus. And then summon that bad boy. Just to see that awesome effect. Going to use Erebus' effect as well with the Return of the Monarchs. I know this is overkill, but hey. We're trying to show it off here. Hit the ether. Pitch two and return one. And then we're just going to smack him with the Airbus. G, G's, my dude. We got destroyed by Monarchs. 
But this deck, honestly, super fun. But I am not going to lie to you guys. It is a brick house. When it bricks, it bricks so hard. And you can't do absolutely anything. So take that as it is. But it's super fun when it works. And it's very insane. But if you guys have made it this far and are not subscribed, please do. It really helps out the channel. And help me reach my goal of 2023 of 10,000 subscribers. Please help me out by hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to join the community. The Discord link will be in the description. We'll have an awesome community there. We're going to have a lot of fun coming up soon. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.